Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And today is the most dreaded part, really, of any fusion event. The Summon Rush event, no easy way to do it. You simply have to have enough shards. That is how it works. And I'm going to be pulling my shards today. If we dive in, we look at how much we need. Um, well, this kind of stands out very starkly to me. If you were following my fusion plan here, uh, it's not too bad. We only need five fragments from Summon Rush. We can skip the other 15. I was definitely a bit worried that you'd have all 20 together at like three and a half thousand or something like that, but they have split them up. So yes, if we're following my fusion plan, about four sacred shards worth, um, about, what's it? I think it's about 20. Uh, let me do, see, about 18. I, I, I typed into calculator. About 18 uh, void shards worth to get the five fragments and we're good. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm probably gonna be pulling four sacreds here today. Now, if, if for whatever reason, you decided that Summon Rush was your jam, was your bag. This is where you were going to get all the fragments. It's your favorite part of a fusion. I don't know. Uh, you need 4,900 points for the extra 15 fragments. Um, hopefully you're not in that position. Uh, I never advised that myself. I, th I think it's pretty crazy because Summon Rush can really mess you up. But this is extremely high. Uh, that is almost 10 sacred shards. It's, it's basically 10 sacreds worth of grabbing this. I think the reason they probably put it this high, it's actually 41 void shards. So 40 void shards for a Kemtum is the current guaranteed and then sort of make up the rest with some mysteries, generally speaking. It's what I would say if you're going for that. So if you're going for a Kemtum, you will get that. Again, my opinion, 40 void shards for a Kemtum. He's a fun champion, but... I feel like for most players, 99.9% .9 of you, you have to be kind of crazy to go for this unless you really, really want to gamble for Maneater. Like I said, I did a whole video on this talking about it. You could gamble for the Maneater and pick up a Kemptum on the way, but it's unlikely you've even got 40 Void Charts to try that. If you do, I don't think it's a great deal, but it's up to you to decide. I think it's pretty bad. Um, bearing in mind, we've had really good epics for 15, 20, even 30 was a lot for some of them. For the voids, I think 40 is, is really rough. I don't expect many people to be going for this, to be honest. Uh, certainly, I am not. I'm going to be saving up my voids, thank you very much, for a 2x event or maybe a guaranteed legendary. We shall see. Let's pull some sacreds. Uh, no more further ado. Let's dive in. Let's pull them. Imagine a duchess popped out. Oh, I had the little loading thing there. I got worried. Phoenix actually on my list of champions to do a proper guide on. I think Phoenix is actually extremely good. Um, he, I, I, I knew that he was good. I did a bit of testing with him in one of my previous videos and he actually did even more damage than I expected. So definitely a champion I need to return and take a second look at. Any new legendary would be fine. <laughs> We're pulling epics here. I'm like, I'll take any legendary. Mast Fearmonger, absolutely terrible champion. Never build that champion, at least as the game stands right now. We've got ourselves another epic. Moss Lee Mage, he is one of the 10x champions. Uh, very, very good progression champion. I never actually needed to build one on my account. By the time I pulled him, it was way too late, but he is really good. Cleansing and healing with a turn meter boosting, perhaps. Increased crit rate defense and a little bit of block debuffs as well. Uh, and then you can put decreased speed A1. Just a really good support champion overall. We got 26 sacreds in the bank. Here we go, the last one we're pulling today. Oh no, it's an epic. And it's Horden. Actually, he was going to be one of the starter champions initially. And then I guess Galek uh, took over. Uh, and Galek ended up being sort of the face of raid, right? He's, he's typically the icon for the game and all of that. Uh, Plarium liked Galek a lot. Horden, he's a decent champion, right? He can buff himself up. He does hit really hard. He gives extra turns if he kills a target. He's certainly not useless. You can use him for things like uh, the Dark Fae boss. He's not bad for that. On normal, I would say mostly. Quite good for normal Dark Fae. Because you can sort of wipe out your own team with this and then do a lot of damage to her. Um, apart from that, he's not amazing, really. He's an all right sort of single target damage dealer, not a champ you need to build. And there you go. Those are my pulls, simple as. I'm going to fill out the rest with just some nice juicy green shards, I think. Thank you very much. Let's grab these. Actually, we pull one. Let's pull one void shard just for the day that's in it. Let's pull one void and then I don't need to pull many greens and uh, nothing too excited happened. There we go. One out of 40 towards guaranteed Akemtum. Ak uh, it's a rare 
as expected, really. Not a 2x event with void charts. It's so painful. Rock beast. Wow. Cool. And we're basically done. <laughs> Some greens. And we can pull the greens right now. Let's do it. Can we get can we get a legendary from this? No, we can't. It's not possible. But guys, look, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, good luck with um yeah, good luck with your pulls. I feel really bad for anyone that left all the fragments for summon rush i feel really bad for you uh it's gonna be tough hopefully uh you had saved up enough shards somewhat like me and you're able to just grab these five fragments and you've got the rest in the bag and you're able to skip these so all i can say pretty rough um i'm really not a fan of these ever increasing summon rush points but i've said that a million times you know look i'll see you all soon thank you for watching goodbye